Hi everyone, bonjour, guten tag, konnichiwa, hi gozaimasu, ciao, komusta? Sherry here again and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to cook pumpkin or butternut squash in coconut milk or ginataang mix in Filipino. Anyway, if you're ready, let's start cooking! <music> Okay, our ingredients for our ginataang kalabasa or pumpkin cooked in coconut milk are the following. I'm using a Filipino mix. It's a ginataang gulay mix. Our pumpkin, which I already chopped. Our, I'm using as well here pork. I cut into bits. I think that they're pork belly. We also have an onion, which I've cut as well. And three cloves of garlic, already chopped, ground black pepper, and salt. And before I forget, this ginitaang gulay mix, I'm gonna soak this in water. So let's start cooking. Okay, I'm gonna start with the by turning on our stove. As you can see, I already put oil into our pan. And once it's hot, I'm gonna are onion and garlic. Okay, I'm gonna saute our onion now. Okay, I'm gonna add our garlic. Now I'm going to add our pork belly slice. What we're gonna do is just keep on sauteing this until our pork is cooked. Okay, our pork's nearly cooked. I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt. And dash of pepper. Okay. So we'll cook it a bit more, and then after that, we're going to add our pumpkin. Okay, our pork is already cooked. I'm going to add now our butternut squash or pumpkin. Maybe that's enough. We normally cook this with spring beans, but I don't have spring beans, so I have to do without it. What I'm doing now is just sauteing and then we'll add our ginataang gulay mix or if you don't have it, just add your coconut. We'll just saute this for a few minutes. Okay, I'm gonna add now the ginataang mix which I soaked in water. And then we'll just stir this for a bit and make sure that there are no lumps left from the ginataang mix or coconut. Then we'll wait this wait for this to boil and let our pumpkin cook. Okay guys, our pumpkin is already cooked, but I'm gonna check it. Just check it with our fork. Yep, it's cooked, and then I'm gonna taste it. I'm 
just gonna taste. If it needs more salt, I'll add salt. Otherwise, no need. Or add water if it's too salty. Mm. Yeah. It's perfect for me. And that's it. So, that's our pumpkin or butternut squash with pork cooked in coconut milk or ginataang mix. And that's how you make a butternut squash coated in coconut milk or give a mix. It's very easy. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe and press the bell button below to be notified of my future video uploads. Share signing off now. So it's au revoir, au revoir, sen, ciao, sayonara, hasta la vista, ang yong, paalam, goodbye, and cheerio! Thank you.